Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly for the last boat video of 2015. Where has all that time gone? And I thought today we would make it an iconic one and also a slightly ironic boat video as we we're about to leave and walk away from Tilly down the towpath and have a look at Cheek Aqueduct and just really enjoy a few of the sights and scenes of the canal. And basically this is just one little trip up to get a few supplies from the village of Chirk itself just in that direction and this is normally one of the most common frequently carried out commutes and walks that I do from Tilly to get supplies as over the last few years you may know well since getting Tilly I've st spent a good amount of months of winter mooring in the Chirk Bank to Western Rin sort of area around the Poacher's Pocket pub um, but unfortunately this year it's the first year since having Tilly it's just not possible. It's, I can only be either up at Langothlin or way down at Ellesmere as the two nearest places to here. So that's unfortunately just not very convenient at all. So unfortunately, rather than spending five months here this year, I'm only going to be here for two weeks. And as this is the peak sort of Christmas time, I'm spending a lot more time actually in work doing a real job. So it's unlikely that I'm going to get a chance to make this trip again um, this year, this winter even. So, I suppose on that note, let's get our boots on and have a wonder. So, let's set out for one last time of the year from this iconic location from many previous years of boat life and even the first three months of this year. But, I suppose what we really should be focusing on in this video is this thing, some blue sky. My goodness me, what a premium that has been over the last few months. So, as we set off down the canal, you can see this is the first bridge that we come to and you've got a little wooden hut there that used to have the little stop planks that fit into little grooves in the canal side and here's a perfect example of those grooves and the canal itself even made deliberately narrow so you could drop planks and cut the flow off there. The canal around Chirk Bank is generally very narrow it has to be said and certainly narrow enough that if you were to hang around in the right places for long enough over some of the busy summer months then I don't really want to use the term crash but let's Let's just say that on more than one occasion around here I have seen boats touch each other unintentionally. I just wanted to throw a quick shot of the lovely blue and yellow boat across the way there as that's one of the sort of local iconic landmarks of the Cheer Canal and also is this more recent addition of a rather hobbit-like hole in the ground. This spot here is where I spent three months on my first ever winter mooring back in 2012 to 2013 and I would say that this bridge here is probably the bridge I've walked over most or certainly one of the most walked across bridges of my pre-boat life as I walked down or cycled down from my friend's house up the road to go to Chirk or just to get onto the canal and go off down to Langothlin or see the tunnels and all that. I wanted to throw in a quick shot of just some of the subsidence on the road right next to the canal here just for future reference as you can imagine this is definitely being monitored and not a positive thing at all really but what we really want to see is this Chirk Viaduct stood next to Chirk Aqueduct and what an absolutely brilliant sight that is. There's something about all of this that, because I suppose it's one of those local iconic canal places like Punt Kasufli Aqueduct further up the way here, it's just, well, it's just fantastic. And you've got the river running below it as well. And it's certainly roaring when I was down here to, on this particular trip, as sometimes over the summer months, there's a lot less water, we'll say that. But just everything about this and the views you get sometimes with the sun rising and the sun setting and looking down the Kiriog Valley. Oh, I absolutely love it. You can walk underneath these through the fields and it's just something I I just love this whole area. And I think having these two amazing multi-arch things just planted there right in the middle of this little valley area, it just looks like something from the past. Well, I suppose because it is, but they're all in use and it's totally relevant even now. 
Here you can see we've got the Welcome to Wales sign, although I think that the river itself must be the actual border between Wales and England. But again, I'm not going to start getting into those sort of technicalities. And here's one of the other views of the aqueduct from up above Cheek Tunnel. The tunnel opening is just below us here. And I suppose really this is the point where we've left the canal properly. So I suppose really we should definitely read the sign and then follow it so we don't get lost. And I just wanted to linger on this sign for a moment or two for anybody interested in seeing the Welsh. It's the language in the bottom rows of dialogue there. And hang on, what's this? That's a picture of Pont Cysoffli Aqueduct, not Chirk. That'd be like having a picture of your more famous brother or sister painted on the side of your car. To end this video, I thought we'd take a quick look at the two churches, the last real scenic things on the trip, and ignore the big factory of Cronospan a little bit favoured out of shot. And really, I hope you've enjoyed joining me one last time for this trip. I hope that you'll check out my videos and follow my adventures for 2016, a new video series starting on the 1st of January. And please do consider helping me out and having a look at my short boaty books for the Kindle. Find loads of links to everything just mentioned in the description below. And until the next time, as always, keep it boat worthy. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic year. And until the next time, farewell.